Welcome back to Community Games and it's time for a World Guild War. We're going to be playing around with our Sky Dancers. But before we start, if you haven't liked and subscribed to our channel, please do. And if you already had, here's a doggy heart just for you. Alright. Well, let's go check out the teams that we can bring with our Sky Dancers here. Look at the Miyang. Definitely, you can see here that she has that good speed lead, right? She has a 28% speed lead in guild content. So you definitely need or can maximize and utilize that. Look at the Huahi. Generally used for the Rift of Worlds and not exactly guild content, but we'll do our best to use her today. <laughs> yeah. Seems like nada. <laughs> and then of course we got the Chasun. Yeah, I like that one. The Kumun, Theo, and the Chasun is good. You got a Veramos, Theo, and Chasun is also good. We'll see if we can be able to use these teams in the World Guild War today. But generally, you know, Chasun definitely useful. We got the Yon Hong. A lot of teams going around. Yeah, I like that one. That's a uh, Mo Long Skogul with the Yon Hong. Looks good. But the thing with Yon Hong is uh, she doesn't exactly have a cleanse. So, you know, in a lot of cases, you'll need a cleanse and immunity. So we'll do our best generally. But here are the builds on our Sky Dancers first. We got the Mi Yang. Again, the 28% speed lead for guild content. We do have them all maxed up. We got the Dance of Mirage, the Blade Fan, and of course, the skill one, the Graceful Touch for all of them in general. She awakens to resistance. And right now we built her on a Fatal Will set. Okay, well, mainly because her skill heals with more attack power. So we'll put that on her. And then looking at the Huahi, Okay, she's very nice, but again, not really for guild content, but her uh, leader skill is for guild content. I like that Pride will fall because it does a defense break, right? At the same time, of course, she also has that Amuse. Okay, we got her Violent Will, Speed Crit Rate, HP. Just in case we need to utilize the damage from her skills right and again because it's a multi-hit we put a little bit of additional damage on her and then of course we do have our chasun right chasun useful even from beginning till the end game right now i really like that hp lead you can use that very useful nowadays you know especially with a lot of meta defenses you can yeah, if you happen to build your chassel and build her, you can build more than one, maybe. I mean, but right now, one is good enough for me. Yeah, and we are currently at endgame. Um, in terms of artifacts, we do want that additional recovery for her skill too. And also at the same time, a little bit of minus fire damage. But nowadays, you know, when you're battling um, top tier guild content battles you know you'll need to generally adjust your artifacts when you attack so yeah okay and then at the same time we do have our yon hong as requested here is her content right we do have her max skilled but more often very useful in rta with a four mob team right but yeah, I mean, again, based on our experience with her, you know, I would prefer that she has some form of cleanse or at least some form of immunity. But a full attack bar for that skill three is definitely OP, and we're going to put that to the test. But yeah, looking at these runes, I'm thinking we can put her on will for the sake of this video. Okay. Um,. 
yeah, we want her tanky. I kind of speed tuned her a little bit slower than the Molong so that the Molong will move first. So I'm thinking, let's put her on Will and just change these energy runes. Um, anything with speed and HP for today. And as long as the speed doesn't exactly drop to, say, below plus 100, we should be good. Yeah. Less tankier, but yeah, we'll stick to that. Okay, now without further ado, let's go straight to the action. Let's go. G, 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 unit. G unit in the house. G unit. Okay, we're all set. We're starting off with the Huahi. Okay, and then we got the Yon Hong all lined up. We got Chasun and we got the Bi Yang. All right, all four Sky Dancers ready for war. Let's go. Yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky, but let's see if this works. Oh, hey, we're gonna go Wish of Immortality. And I'm hoping that we get a lot of glancing because we did utilize the attack power lead. I mean, why isn't he glancing? Come on, we're gonna attack power up. Yeah, technically, the mo you know, the enemy should glance against our Douglas here, also known as the Fire Ryu. Why isn't he glancing? Yeah, we'll need defense breaks. Okay, that's good. Oh, but still nothing. Wow, look at the damage on our Wusa though. I mean, we need him to... Yeah, glances, but... Oh no. Douglas, are you in danger? Uh, I'm thinking let's put shields in immunity. Oh no, there goes the Wusa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing with Huahi. Um, yeah, that's why she's good with the Rift of Worlds. Because there's only one enemy. Um, when it's in a guild battle like this, and it goes randomly. You know, her skill 3 goes randomly. It's not good. You see, I mean, because you need to really make sure you hit your turns. Okay, anyway. Okay, here we go. Mo Long with the Arnold and the Yon Hong. We got a Nemesis Arnold here. Oi. Doesn't die. Oh, it's... Oh, because of the HP lead from the Coco, huh? Well, I'm thinking, let's go kill the Molong. We're gonna Reckless Assault onto the Beta. Okay, let's go... I'm thinking we should heal block the Molong. Yeah, we're gonna heal block, because right now they have immunity and we're not gonna waste the attack power break for the Coco later. Okay, that's a good stun. Okay, now we go Deadly Wave. Let's go kill this beta. Blade Fan. Nice Sue. Work on the Molong. Okay, defense break. Heal up. Well, not that it matters, but let's go Charge Vitality. So that we have our Extortion up. Okay, good. See, I mean, that's just the danger with a Yon Hong, you know, you get defense broken and say you got a lot of damage, high damage monsters, you don't have immunity. It's a bit dangerous, really. But, yep, all good. Not complaining, just saying, could be better, right, technically. <laughs> okay, for this one, the Liu Mei meta. We did bring our Louise together with Diana and the Chasun, so... I'm um, thinking, kill the Liu Mei first, right? 
and every time she attacks onto someone, that's gonna give additional attack burst to Diana. I mean, I like Chasud because she has a lot of heals on her skill set, right? She's got the Amuse. We got attack power buff. How much damage? Five, six thousand per hit. Yeah, that's so good. Not to mention Fallen Blossom. Always good. Ooh. Yeah, even if you go decrease her attack bar. Diana. For the win and for the kill. Alright, but Miles though. Wow. That was really good damage to our Diana there. Okay, we're gonna amuse again. So our Diana has attack power buff. Okay, let's see how much damage we're gonna do on this Miles. 4.4. Yeah, most probably he has really good artifacts. Yeah, because we were doing a lot of like 6,000 damage on the Liu Mei earlier. Okay, just a little bit more. I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll keep the HP low on the Chasun so that they keep attacking onto the Chasun and at the same time we'll get more attack bars. Alright. Okay, now we go transform. No attack power buff from Amuse though. And that's around 2900 damage. You're gonna transform back. I think on the next turn we have no one more turn for the amuse so we'll be able to test out the damage on our diana here with the amuse although technically yeah it should do a lot i mean more damage with attack power buff but our diana is more of you know additional damage based on her hp oh still four or five Okay, so I'm guessing minus wind damage on their artifacts to avoid Lucian comps. Okay, speaking of Lucian comps, we're gonna go resurge. And I'm thinking here, hopefully we get to cleave the Feng Yen and the Wusa. Hoping that the Mi Yang would have enough to kill this Laika. Ow, so much damage on the Lucian though. Okay, we're good. Okay. Um, let's go revive our Lucian to tank the Laika. Well, not really tank the Laika, but Laika just one-shot him. Okay, let's go. Oh, but Vampire Laika though. Stun. No stun. Oh no. Is Laika gonna solo us though? <laughs> oh man. I don't know. We need stuns. Oh, but he keeps revenging. Uh, let's heal up. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Uh, should bring back the. The, the Lucian, right? But, uh... Yeah, I feel like... We just need to solo this guy. I mean, he's just sucking a lot of... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he's such a vampire and he's doing a lot of damage. Wow. Man, this EU guild so OP. Oh, like soloed by the Laika though. Oh man. Well, yeah, uh, we don't have the volume, the dark one. So, yeah, overall, I don't know. I mean, honestly, there are a lot of meta themes and offenses that you can use, <laughs> but we could have done better I think maybe you know but we needed to use me young I mean we could have gone with like say I don't know like a Julie Galleon Julie or no 
or something or whatever but say or maybe even um uh, what I call this a bulldozer would have been good against that defense more than a Lucian yeah 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 you can we can try that um but for this one yeah I mean it's pretty safe I mean like this is staple and with the Jean there you know you build your monsters extra tanky because there's a Leo you don't need a speed you have the resistance from the Jean you got attack by reduction from the Helena right and defense breaks too right so it, I mean this offense is really good but again <laughs> sky dancers I guess not exactly the best but we'll make it work oh man that's one OP set of defenses from monkey de Bier. all right we ready the, yeah we're gonna bring Mi Ying again with the Lucian but this time Dova hopefully we outspeed that Orion and then we're playing around with the Figaro too yeah Figaro with the bombs on her on his passive right okay let's see hopefully we outspeed oh man <laughs> that's one fast Orion though oh dude rip oh man but you get the idea <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> uh, first to kill would definitely be the Shaina okay triple strike come on okay three versus two let's go Figaro Oh, but this Triana though. Okay, surprise box. Okay, nice bomb. Yeah, but the thing with the Figaro, uh, the Figaro's bomb, you will need attack power in order to do damage for your bombs. And more often than not, you do bring Figaro as a tank. What? Did that Triana just take? Three turns. Oh no. Wow, good damage from his Triana though. Come on, surprise box bomb. Resisted. Oh no. Come on. Um this Triana though. <laughs> okay, Figaro, can you do it? Okay, nice done. Come on, where are the bombs though? Technically, 25% chance every time you hit it. So, okay, we're getting stuns. I mean, 25% chance. So, one, once in four attacks. Come on, man. Uh, I mean the despair is even proking more than that. <laughs> oh man, okay, well here we go. <laughs> oh man, that's not good though. <laughs> Two losses. I'm gonna put immunity. Uh, let's soften up this Theo. Oh no, but a defense break though. We need to stun. Stun the Theo with the bomb. Of course, he resisted that. Wow, so much damage. Okay, we're gonna cleanse that. Let's go charge vitality. So we get more bombs. Keep working on the Theo. Oh no. I mean, this Theo hits really hard though. Come on. Oh, come on. Shema only! <laughs> okay, we're glancing because there's a Molly, right? 
Oh no. Is Sierra in danger here? Uh oh. Oh, that additional turn. Oh man. Um. Yeah, we don't have destroy runes. And, uh. <laughs> yeah, we could have used the mole. Just use Yon Hong with the mole. With the mole. <laughs> mole Yong. Mole Yong combo. Huh? Yeah, but the Ciara though. Um, yeah, we could have used Molong, Skogul, Yon Hong. But then, with the defense bricks coming from the Coco, it's still da yeah, it's very dangerous. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're not doing enough damage because this Molly is pretty much healing everybody at this point. I'm thinking. Can we uh, fight this till it draws? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go heal that. I mean, if we had destroy Roos. Oh, but the procs though. Yep. Rip again. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Chas on time. Yeah, we'll work on this Dominic because we don't want Dominic doing the same damage that he did in the previous round against the Wusa. Okay, we do have weakness shot. We have attack power buff coming from our Chasun, so it's pretty good. Okay, nice. Now we got a uh, 3 versus 2. I'll kill the Nana first because we do have Chasun for the heals. Mm. And even if, say, the Perna here you know, is able to kill Dominic, uh, we do have Wusa with the damage coming from his base HP. But yeah, 3 versus 1 now. I believe we're pretty safe. And while we're killing the Perna, we got time for shoutouts. Shoutouts going to Samuel Conteras, Shadow Snipes, Rexy Cats, Fried Camote. We got Sebastian Ways, Zhao Forechi, FSS Board, G Diwa, and Karger F1. Alright, and of course to you, our G Unit. Oh man. But the Sky Dancers, not all good for Siege, but so far so good. Or not so good. <laughs> Well, we do have our Halfas here to tank this Dark Ninja. Okay. Okay, Pride will fall. We need defense breaks on anyone. <laughs> okay, let's go kill the Komun. Because the Komun has a heal block. Right. And we do have Halfas tanking this Dark Ninja. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this one really good. I mean, I guess it really depends on the defense. But, yeah. Pride will fall with the defense breaks. And it's kind of random. Not so good. But against bosses, really good. Like, for example, pretend Bastet's a boss right now. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, man. GGOP Rookie 91. Thank you, Dawn Legends EU, for your OP defenses. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. Have a great weekend ahead. May the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.